So I've chosen this concertina out of all the ones in this collection because it's so incredibly decorative. Um, it has rosewood ends and it's decorated with brass and it also has glass keys, which is very surprising in a concertina, especially when you think of the instrument today, um, which is one that's primarily associated with traditional music. When the instrument was patented in 1844 by its inventor, Charles Wheatstone, the English system concertina was aimed very much at the upper end of the market. Charles Wheatstone, the concertina's inventor, collaborated with a guitar virtuoso called Giulio Rigondi, who um, quickly learnt the instrument and gave concertina concerts all over the country and made arrangements of music for the instrument. Um, and we have in our ledgers of the Wheatstone Concertina Factory, which we acquired with this collection, um, with generous sponsorship from the Heritage Lottery Fund, um, we can see the names of all sorts of people who acquired these instruments. Um, including members of the aristocracy and a lot of musical instrument dealers because it became incredibly popular in the middle of the 19th century. This is one of the 19th century ledgers of the Wheatstone Concertina Factory in London and the museum acquired these with the Concertina Collection in 1996. And they are really fascinating documents because they show us when the instruments were sold, who bought them, and the price that they were sold for. So we're looking now at um, May 1853, May the 4th to May the 7th. And you can see a list of people who bought this instrument, including um, the Duchess of Wellington, um, that would have been Lady Elizabeth Hay, the wife of the second Duke of Wellington, who, who hired the instrument um, rather than bought it, so there's no price in that particular entry. But also there's a reference to Mr. Rudolph, who was a wind instrument maker further down the page, um, who bought a concertina for £10. Um, so you can see just how many musical instrument makers and dealers were buying this instrument as well as the sorts of gifted and, and wealthy amateurs who were also buying this instrument for their entertainment. Here is some printed music that the Horniman Museum acquired with the Concertina collection. Um, it's an arrangement of two of Mozart's operas, or rather two arias from Mozart's operas. Um, one is the magic flute and the other is from Don Giovanni. And it's an arrangement that was made by Giulio Rigondi, who was the English concertina's first champion, who collaborated with Wheatstone in promoting this instrument in the, in the mid-19th century. So, Here's an aria that was arranged for um, a baritone concertina and a treble concertina as a duet. It's called Gente e chi lucellatore and it's from the magic flute. Here's some more music from the Wayne collection of um, concertinas and related archival material that we acquired in 1996. And it shows the um, Anglo-German system concertina being played as a parlor instrument. Um, it was also popular as an instrument of sacred music, rather like the piano.